I just finished another video about how to use a for loop to put lots and lots of sprites on your screen. And uh, I stopped that video because it was getting long, but I had a lot more that I wanted to show. For example, how to make this little interactive thing with one more sprite that floats from the top of the screen to the bottom and bounces off all the other sprites. So this is another level of interactivity. It gets stuck sometimes, but since we've already coded these to disappear when you click on them, you can aid the path down. Let's do one more time. It didn't need me that time. All right, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so this program and the code pick up right where we left off before. Creating the sprites and already being able to click them. Sorry about that. Creating the sprites and already being able to click them. I did lower the number to 50 on each of these just so there's a path normally for my red ball to fall. Now I need to make that red ball. So I'll go back to the very top and I'm going to do bar create sprite and I'm going to call this one red ball this time and I'm going to go ahead and set his animation and when I run that nothing happens. Oh I need to give him a, he looks like all the other ones, I need to give him a velocity so that he's falling. And we'll just go with three. So now you can see there's my guy. He's starting in the middle of the screen. I want him to start at the top of the screen. So there's his X position. There's his Y position. There we go. That looks good. You could give him a random X so that you don't know where he's starting. Maybe from 50 to 350. I didn't do that last time, but I like it better. Okay, now we need to make him a different color so he stands out. So let's just duplicate this animation and paint it something else. Maybe like a teal. That seems too similar. Let's do like a hot pink. Although his name is Red Ball, maybe we should make him just a bit more red. There we go. Now I need to change this animation to... I should have given them better names, but I know what they are. There we go. So now he's falling, and we can tell what color he is. The next thing to do is to set up where they can interact with each other. So first we'll, we'll come down here to this loop, the one that, the for loop that's inside our draw loop. And we want to grab a bounce off. That needs to be right there. So the sprite needs to bounce off of the, nope, the red ball needs to bounce off all the sprites. So that's where the square bracket I comes in. It represents all of them. Well, that's working. The only thing is it's bouncing straight back up. Let's we'll see what happens here. Yeah, and the reason is these sprites are squares. Even though it looks like a circle, it's a square, and I can show you by looking at the debug. If we set the debug to true, then you can see, you see that little green box? Let me try to zoom in. Well, now I can't see my reset button. All right, here we go. You see that green box? I promise you it's there. He's a square. We need to make him into a circle so that he bounces properly. And so to do that, let me get rid of this debug. You may have to just believe me on that one. Uh, we want to set his collider. I mean, like, what shape is he, really? So we're going to set red ball. His collider to a circle. Since he looks like a circle, that will make the actual sprite a circle. While we're at it, let's set, we can do it in this first for loop, let's set all the green ones, colliders, to a circle as well. So the sprite square bracket I is going to be a circle. So hopefully that will make them fall more naturally. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe I have too many. Let's try what happens with 25 of these little guys. Okay, 
I think maybe his bounciness needs to be adjusted. Uh, he's a little bit too bouncy. So up here at the top, let's set red ball's bounciness to like 0 0.7. One is by default, like 100%. There we go. Let's see how he bounces. Okay, I think I see the other problem. We want him to always go down, right? So we set his velocity to three. Let's move this all the way down inside the draw loop. So that even when he hits something, he continues to fall down. Let's try that. Yeah, that's what I actually wanted to happen. So that's more important even than this bounciness. I don't think that's really doing anything to help our case. Yeah, it's always looking for the path down now. Okay, now that we got that fixed, we can set this back to 50. Okay, and that should do it. Um, if your ball cannot make it down, you can always help it by taking out some of these little dots. In fact, let's even try it with a very difficult path. Let's make a hundred of these guys. All right, so he's stuck there, but I can help him out. All right, and that's how you do it.